I spy with my little eye someone logging on to an open, unsecured Wi-Fi. What's the worst that could happen? could go and tell coffee boy over there that connection to the open wi-fi in the shop is a bad idea but he'll probably just laugh at me call me a fear monger tell me to get lost i don't know if i can handle that kind of rejection in many ways it's not too dissimilar than taking candy from a stranger especially if you're diabetic so how do we go about educating such fools well you just need a few things you need an antenna a small USB drive, an ethernet connecting thingy wire cable, a power supply, and most importantly of all, a Wi-Fi pineapple. And it also helps to have a laptop. And once you have this small setup up and running, it's a bad boy honeypot. What is a honeypot, I hear you ask? Well, it can be explained a bit like this. You go into the, in the coffee shop, you open up your laptop, and your Wi-Fi starts looking for open networks. The coffee's open Wi-Fi says, here I am, connect to me, and it's connected. However, when I set up my pineapple, it sits in the middle. So, when your laptop asks, are you my preferred open Wi-Fi, it responds, why yes, I am. Subsequently, all the user's traffic ends up having to go through my pineapple, so I can end up launching any kind of man-in-the-middle attack. I apologize for my comments that could be construed to mean that women are incapable of launching such attacks and from this point on I shall refer to the attack as a person in the middle attack and not man in the middle. Can you untie me now? Now if you want to get into the technicalities of how do you capture packets, use Wireshark, create modules and all that other goodness you can head over to the Hack5 forums somewhere over here, if I put a link. Or if you're a real beginner, then go to Troy Hunt's website down under, because he is the Crocodile Dundee of IT security. And so the moral of the story, kids, is don't connect to anything open and unsecure and freely available in a widely public space. If you must do it because you don't have an office and all you ever do is work out of coffee shops, one little trick you could employ is to create your own ESSID. Uh, call it something unique, something that no one else will ever guess. Call it being hijacked if you like. Then move this to the top of your preferred network lists. So that will be the first network that your Wi-Fi will ever look for. And if the pineapple's there running, it will allow it to connect. And then you know it's time to initiate protocol 34 and get out of dodge. Aside from not connecting to open unsecured Wi-Fi, there's also a very good reason why you should turn off your Wi-Fi altogether when not connecting to a trusted place. Leaving your Wi-Fi on can lead to bad things, dark things, sinister things.